Okay, people. The other day, somebody, you know, they they sent me a video to watch, and in the video was a man trying to kiss another man, or you know, whatever. Um, I didn't comment on that video, sir, that you sent me, for several reasons. Sexual orientation. That's not my thing. Um, if you're gay or you know some gay people, fine. I know lots of gay people and fine. But I won't comment on a video like that. Um, to me, the video was slightly disturbing. It wasn't disturbing. It just looked like the guy that the guy was trying to kiss was drunk or, or like he was like he was like he's like in the days like he didn't know what he was there for and now this dude is trying to kiss him and I, I can't I can't really fuck with videos like that dude I mean it's like I like your videos um, but that video to me was it was not in the quality it was not put like this it was not in the quality of video that I thought would come from you in other words you do some good videos that wasn't your best video um, and that video sort of tarnished you now you know, no, don't get me wrong that video didn't hurt you it just hurts the way that I view you and it's not because you're gay or if you're not gay or whatever it's because I don't understand what you were trying to get at. I don't want to comment and let too many people know what video it is, but I will send it to, I don't know, I couldn't even send it to nobody I know, because I don't know if this story is still hot, so to speak. Um, I think you were talking about the B2K thing, you know, the guys being, uh, you know, messed with uh, by the manager, and, you know, it was... You said a real Chris Stokes video or something, I think it was called. I don't know. But, um, it was, to me, it was not the kind of video that you should make because you seem to be a pretty good uh, videographer when you do your videos. When you talk about certain subjects, your videos are, you know, pretty strong. This was not a strong video for you. And it made, it, like I said, it tarnished your other videos. It's some something was something about that video wasn't you. Um, so in saying that, I'm gonna let that go and move on now. Okay, I've been getting a lot of hate too. Um, I need someone to tell me out there how do you put the adult thing on the video or or the language disclaimers or. I don't know how to do that. All I know how to do is turn my camera on, look into the camera, and tell people what I see as the truth from my perspective. Um, a lot of people ask me, why do I do videos the way I do them? And I say this constantly because this is real. Um, I'm not reading from no script. As you see, I constantly think and I look around. Another thing, people say I like to see myself talk. So every now and then I catch myself looking down at the um, screen, at the little monitor there, see myself talk. I think that part of my narcissistic attitude is correct. I do like to see myself talk. I don't necessarily like to hear myself talk because I can't learn from myself. Um, my family, my family, my father and I believe that there was a family curse and somebody else told me that there's a family curse the curse is like this we have all this so-called good advice but we can't use it you understand what I'm saying in other words I can tell you how to get a million dollars but I can't tell myself how to go get a million dollars that is the curse so I'm trying to break the curse with my son and my son will not have the curse of wisdom and no power. See what I'm saying? He will have the power of wisdom. You get it? I hope you do. So, um, for all those people out there who like me, I love you. For all those people out there who love me, hey, 
that ain't nobody's business what I do to you, okay? <laughs> you get that one? Like, love, love, you know, the next level. Well, um, my people on YouTube deserve the truth. So I can only do my videos in one way. And I can only respond on certain videos that relate to my people. Now, if the rest of my people got that video I was talking about of the man trying to kiss the other man or whatever, then I think there would be a debate. But I don't think this video deserves a debate. But I would ask that guy for an explanation, but it's been like a week, so I'm going to let that go. Oh, it's kind of hard to sit in it. We used to call it Indian style. When you sit with your legs bent like that, that was Indian style. I can't do that too much. I'm old as shit now. Now, um, there's a video of a young lady talking about uh, people at the club. That video is funny. Um, I'm not going to tell you her name, but right now I'm studying this girl to see if she's worth debating with, she's worth talking to. She's a pretty young lady. Um, the problem is her videos are ghetto. Not, you know, she's very pretty and she's quite articulate, but she comes off as ghetto. Um, me being a person from the ghetto, I can guarantee you this. If you come off ghetto, you'll be perceived as ghetto, and all that you'll attract is ghetto. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, nigga, these bitches, motherfuckers at the club. And you can't, you can't come off as a respectful person and then flash to ghetto mode. I mean, it only makes you look bad like a fly-by-night. Oh, she's just talking because somebody gave her a webcam and smoked a blunt with her. I mean, you don't want to be generalized. You don't want to be put out there like that. You are not ghetto. Can you imagine that? We're watching Por Maury Party. Watching Maury. And they got these three people standing there. Luther. You are ghetto. And the crowd goes, ah! Frank, you are ghetto. Yeah! AIX, you are not ghetto anymore. And that's what it is. I am not like that anymore. Um, certain mannerisms. When I first moved to where I'm at now, I go home, you know, once or twice a week. And, you know, by the sixth or seventh visit home it was like why are you talking like that talking like what you know man what's up dude 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 yeah, we don't say dude in the hood they say dude in the hood now my brother was like dude you tripping like dude dude yeah they say dude in the hood um it's our pop culture. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of... Remember Bill and Ted? Excellent adventure for you older people out there. Remember how people spoke after that movie? Everybody's like, whoa. Excellent. I am so freaking tired of seeing people go to a movie that's popular and for the next six months hear people talk like that watch some of the cartoons and shit my son used to watch. I was glad when he stopped watching that shit. Because that's how our kids talk now. They talk like the movies. They talk like the cartoons. They talk like the rap records. Um, well, I guess I'm done with this video. I spoke in a circle and I don't think I got anything accomplished. I tried to put some videos out there for you guys before I go to, you know, camping with my family for a couple of days so I guess that's it for this video you've been tubed and I'm going to do two more before I go, go pick up my ice and um, let me think I got to think I got to give you a real good one these last two have been kind of flat I will see you soon maybe I'll you know what I'm going to pick a reply I'm going to reply to somebody I'm going to find a video thank you you've been tubed